Hey what's up train enthusiasts! Welcome back to my channel! Today, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of locomotive teamwork. Have you ever wondered how two locomotives work together to haul those massive trains? Well, stick around because I'm going to break it down for you! Before we dive into the captivating story of multiple unit operation, I have a special request for you. If you're enjoying this video and want to see more fascinating content about trains, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. By subscribing, you'll become part of our amazing community, and you'll never miss out on the thrilling world of locomotives. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button and let's continue our journey. Alright, so when two locomotives team up, it's called multiple unit operation, or MU operation for short. It's like the power duo of the railroad world. First things first, these locomotives need to be physically coupled together using these super cool couplers and air hoses. These connections allow them to communicate and operate as one unit. Now, here comes the interesting part. One locomotive takes the lead, and it's known as the master locomotive. Think of it as the captain of the team. The engineer sits in the cab of the master locomotive and controls the entire consist. They're like the maestro directing the symphony. But how do they communicate, you ask? Well, through electrical and pneumatic systems, of course. The lead locomotive sends signals to the trailing locomotives, telling them what to do. It's like they're talking to each other using secret rail codes. When it comes to power, it's all about teamwork. The electrical power generated by all the locomotives is combined and distributed to the traction motors throughout the entire consist. It's like a power-sharing party, making sure everyone contributes their fair share to pull those heavy trains. Now, let's talk brakes. You can't have a well-coordinated team without synchronized braking, right? When the engineer applies the brakes in the lead locomotive, that command is sent to all the trailing locomotives. It's like they have a telepathic connection, ensuring that the entire train slows down smoothly and safely. Of course, our trusty engineer has a whole bunch of gauges and displays in front of them, giving them all the juicy details about the performance of the whole consist. They can keep an eye on fuel levels, electrical systems, and other vital stuff. It's like they have their own high-tech command center right there in the cab. All right, let's get this locomotive rolling. Back in the early days of railroading, each locomotive operated independently. But as the demand for more power and efficiency grew, brilliant minds started dreaming of a way to synchronize multiple locomotives into a unified force. It was like the Avengers of the railroad world. And then, in 1895, enter Frank J. Sprague, an absolute genius of an electrical engineer and inventor. He proposed an innovative concept that would forever change the game of multiple unit operation. Picture this, electric locomotives coupled together using electrical connections instead of physical ones. Mind-blowing, right? Sprague's brainchild, known as the Sprague Electric Multiple Unit or EMU, paved the way for incredible advancements in this technology. It eliminated the need for clunky mechanical linkages between locomotives, making control and power distribution seamless. It was like magic on rails. But that's not all, my friends. Multiple unit operation didn't stop at electric locomotives. Oh no! It found its way into diesel and steam locomotives too, expanding its reach and impact across the railway industry. It's like a superpower that can be harnessed by different types of locomotives. Why is multiple unit operation such a big deal? Well, let me tell you. By combining locomotives into a single consist, the power and hauling capacity skyrocketed. It meant more efficiency, lower operational costs, and better overall performance for freight and passenger trains. It's like a turbo boost for the railroad world. Fast forward to today, and multiple unit operation is all the rage in railways worldwide. With advanced control systems, communication technologies, and power distribution methods, it's become even more efficient and effective. Modern locomotives are equipped with high-tech interfaces and displays that give engineers real-time data and control over the entire consist. It's like having a command center right in the cab. 
As we know, multiple unit operation has been a game changer, allowing locomotives to work together as a single powerhouse. But with the rapid advancements in technology, including the rise of electric, hybrid, and even autonomous locomotives, how do we ensure compatibility and seamless control? Let's find out. First off, let's talk about locomotive communication and control systems. With newer technologies, locomotives are equipped with state-of-the-art systems that allow for improved data exchange and integration. These systems use standardized protocols and interfaces, ensuring compatibility between different locomotives. To control the locomotives, advanced software and hardware solutions come into play. Engineers can now utilize sophisticated control panels and interfaces that provide a unified control platform for multiple types of locomotives. This means they can seamlessly command and monitor the performance of diverse locomotives within a consist. But what about power distribution? Well, fear not. New technologies have brought us innovative power management systems. These systems can handle various types of locomotives, whether they're electric, hybrid, or traditional diesel. They ensure efficient power distribution throughout the consist, optimizing performance and energy usage. Now, let's not forget about safety. With the emergence of autonomous technologies, safety measures have been taken to the next level. Advanced sensors, onboard computers, and communication systems are implemented to ensure safe operation and coordination between locomotives, regardless of their technology. But here's the real magic, adaptability. As new locomotive technologies continue to evolve, the multiple unit operation concept adapts right along with them. Manufacturers and engineers are constantly working together to develop standardized solutions that allow different locomotive types to seamlessly work together. It's like a symphony where all the instruments harmonize perfectly. So, my rail-loving friends, rest assured that the world of multiple unit operation is keeping up with the times. With advanced communication, control systems, power management, and safety measures, the integration of new locomotive technologies into the existing framework is becoming a reality. As we move forward, the railways of tomorrow will be a fusion of cutting-edge technologies and the tried-and-true principles of multiple unit operation. It's an exciting era where innovation meets collaboration, and the possibilities are limitless. And there you have it, my incredible viewers. The enthralling tale of multiple unit operation and its seamless integration with the new technologies of today. But before we wrap up, I want to take a moment to express my gratitude to each and every one of you who has subscribed to the channel. Your support and enthusiasm fuel my passion for creating these videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, now is the perfect time to join our growing community of train lovers. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up, and share it with your friends who have a fascination for locomotives. Let's spread the love for trains far and wide. Thank you all for watching, and as always, stay on track and keep your passion for trains alive. Choo-choo and until next time.